Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. In our previous episodes, we have learned that in a deep borehole, we isolate the borehole from the environment by installing different steel tubes of different diameters called casings. And this casing in the borehole results in a small annulus, as you can see here. The space between the pipe and the annulus is then filled with cement. So the question we'll be answering today is, how do we make sure that the borehole is really tight, that is no leaks and poses no risk to the environment? For example, we don't want the cement to be broken or lose in the annulus. So to determine if the hole is really tight, engineers do a lot of things. The installation of pipes and pumping of cement is done by dedicated expert specialist service companies. These companies do nothing but casing and cementing jobs, so we can assume that they are very good at it. Well, of course, we want to know if after pumping the cement, if it has filled the entire analog space. This is done by a relatively simple method using the temperature. Because the setting of cement generates heat, it is an exothermic chemical reaction. As you can see here, we have some cement mixed already and the temperature was exactly 21.3 degrees Celsius. But if I measure the temperature of the cement, which is currently still mixing this cup, we expect it should have become warmer. And indeed, we can see that the temperature has increased by a few degrees. This effect can be used in the borehole by running a temperature sensor down the casing to measure the temperature of the borehole. So wherever the pipe is warmer, there is cement behind the casing. And wherever the casing is colder, then there is no cement behind the casing. But then we also want to know if the cement is fully attached to the casing and to the surrounding rock. This can be done by acoustic measurements. For example, notice the sound when I knock on this board. It's like there's a hollow space behind it. And see the sound when I hit on the wall. It's completely different. Common sense, right? We use the acoustic method to measure the velocity of the sound along the casing. So to say we use the sound to estimate if the cement binds properly to the rock and to the casing or not. Another thing we want to check for is if the cement properties are stable and meet the expected requirements. So during the cement operation, engineers take a sample of the cement, put it in a container, take it to the laboratory where they leave it under the same temperature and pressure as expected in the borehole. Then they check the setting time and the cement strength. If the sample results are good, then they assume that the cement in the borehole is also good. Finally, to answer the question as to whether the borehole is really tight and there are no leakages, for this purpose, we set up a little experiment here. So here we have two boreholes. One is a bit leaky and the other is really tight. Now the test runs as follows. We close the borehole of the surface through the blowout preventer. Then we carefully pump some mud into the well to increase the pressure so that we generate a little over pressure. So if I open the air bracket by adjusting the clamp to allow some air into the hole, if the glove re retains its shape, then the borehole is obviously tight. As you can see here. Here in this other borehole, when I open the bracket for her, if we wait a little bit, just a little bit, we see that the glove gets smaller, though very, very slowly. Well, if we wait a little bit more, we will see that. <laughs> yes, the glove will get smaller very slowly, very, very slowly. Yeah, it gets smaller very slowly. And this shows that the borehole is leaking and needs to be repaired. 
If you want to know more exact details of this operation, come to our lectures in Basics of Doing Engineering here in Freiburg. We look forward to seeing you. Look off.